Hello Internet! Today we have this MSI 4090 that came with a factory seal and with a note stating that it was part of the pre-built system and the owner stated it was dead on arrival. I personally would like to know what company has pre-built this rig, but that curiosity is sparked a little too late. As I was removing the back cover, I noticed the screws toward the front of the GPU came out effortlessly, whereas the screws on the right were tight. The reason for that will become more obvious toward the end of the video, so stick around. Once taken apart, I went ahead and checked the fuses and resistances and the key areas and I found nothing suspicious. Then I tried to power the card and according to the existing voltages, it seemed to be working. But to make sure I don't have any hidden problems uh, with the power delivery, I went ahead and I checked every power stage with an oscilloscope and everything is looking good as you can see. And with that done, let's power it on and see what it does. Nothing. Okay, let's try to run a memory test. Maybe that will tell us something. But the memory test refuses to run, saying that the PCI device was not found. Next place to look would be the least likely place for a problem to happen. Unless we have another bug crawled under there. The oscillator. Where instead of a good wave signal, we get a noise. So let's lift the core. Who knows, maybe we'll find another bug. Core is removed and I am greeted with a horror of nearly a hundred ripped pads. The worst and the most concerning discovery here is not the ripped pads, but the grey pads. Grey pads are pads covered in oxidation layer that prevents solder from attaching to the pad. I find these pads around the entire core. Memory traces and other signals I suspect were not properly making a connection to the board, possibly shorting the life of this GPU anywhere from a warranty period to an hour. How something like this can happen at the MSI factory, but not at my cheap workstation, I don't know. In any case, there's not much left to fix, so I'll tape the core back on like so. That should make the connection to the board just as good as it was from the MSI factory. And with that there, I contacted the owner about the discovery and he decided to donate the card for the parts. So I got excited and I expressed some interest to see just how far the damage has gone. And one way to find out is to remove all the memory chips and inspect the pads. And it looks like the memory chips and the core have survived but until I get out of the 4090 with a dead core to use this as a donor, I won't know. Until then, goodbye.